What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some leaked WWE Elite Figure Images. It is Elite Series 67, guys. I'm super duper excited to get into this set, so let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So starting things out, guys, we do have Elite Series 67, Jeff Hardy, and he is the Chase variant in the set. I thought it was going to be Randy Orton. I was told it was going to be Randy Orton, and I'm kind of upset it's not a flashback Randy Orton as the Chase variant, but here we have two current day Jeff Hardys. They're literally around the same time. I really do love the one on the right. I believe the America attire, the United States Championship attire on the left is going to be the Chase variant version, but to be honest with you, I think I like the regular version better. I love those camo blue sleeves. I love both face paints. I love how we're getting the screaming head scan. I feel like the America one needs to be repainted on the eyes maybe, but I'm super duper excited for this. I love Jeff Hardy, one of my favorites. Love his figures, and I'm getting a Jax Deluxe Aggression vibe from these for some reason. I think it's the head scan, but I'm super excited for both of these. They look incredible. I'm so happy that we're going to be getting updated current, you know, face paint Jeff Hardys to be using, and you know, we'll probably get a bunch of these to use, and you know, Elite 57 was a really nice figure, and 10 series later, we're getting another one in Elite Series 67, so we're starting things off hot with this Jeff Hardy in the set, very epic figure, and can't wait to grab both. Next up, guys, we do have my boy Randy Orton, and this figure looks amazing. I do love the parts choices here. We are going to get those signature posing hands. This figure looks perfect with those hands on. We are going to get an updated hoodie. I do believe he's about to switch hoodies anyway. This is the hoodie he wore right after the green one, and that was right after the white one that I actually owned that he fought Bray Wyatt with at WrestleMania 33 here. But uh, I can't really tell what trunks we're getting, but it does look like we're getting black trunks, which I figure because, you know, Randy Orton pretty much just wears black trunks all the time. And I don't know what designs, you know, they are. I don't think we have images just yet on, you know, the design colors. But hopefully it's going to be a good, I, I expect maybe, like I would like to see red or yellow or possibly a black on black would be pretty cool. You know, come in with some gloss Mod Podge and go over the design and you could have a really sick looking figure up on the shelf. So I may do that if it is black on black or something, but um, I'm really loving this. I love the head scan. Can't wait for better images of these, but these being the first leaked images, I, I really do enjoy this Randy Orton, and I'm definitely going to be grabbing it. You guys know how I am about Randy Orton, one of my favorites of all time, and uh, this is going to look very beautiful up on the Randy Orton timeline shelf. So that is Randy Orton, guys, and we're moving on to the next figure. Next up, guys, we have a figure that I'm so super excited about. We have my boy Cedric Alexander, one of my favorite main roster WWE talents. We have Cedric here, and I'm so freaking pissed off, man. Why did they give him that freaking torso? Why did they give him the Daniel Bryan torso? This is a slap in the face. They could have easily given him the, you know, the first Elite Series, Kofi Kingston, you know, his first Elite, Kofi's first Elite did have the perfect torso. It's the Finn Balor torso, and uh, they, they totally showed the prototype for this figure with that torso, so I guess they just decided to switch it at the last second. I don't know, but it is his WrestleMania uh, Black Panther attire, which looks absolutely incredible. We are getting the Cruiserweight Championship. The head scan looks amazing. I love all of the parts here. I love the attire and everything. I just wish they would have given him that ripped up torso. Even the Shelton Benjamin would have been better, but I'm definitely going to have to torso switch this. It's kind of dumb because when we got the Rich Swan Elite, they gave him a ripped up torso when he should have had the Xavier Woods torso, and then they did the opposite here with Cedric Alexander. So it's just like bonehead decisions, man. Like, what the hell are you doing? You could have easily done it right. You didn't do it right and now we're going to have to uh, switch it but that's not going to be anything I, I will get that done though but I'm super happy that my boy Cedric's getting a figure and I cannot wait to bring him to MDT Live or Vindication next up guys we have another epic figure it is Velveteen Dream and this figure looks absolutely incredible I was waiting to see what this thing looked like when it was fully painted and it looks even better I love the sheen and the purpleness to the tights they look incredible love the boots choice I love that we're getting a cloth white shirt we can use that for Trash Corbin, Constable Corbin Customs. We can use it for Brood, you know, uh, Gang Grail Customs. We have a beautiful looking Velveteen Dream here, and he has his signature hands. What a great set, guys. Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Cedric Alexander, Velveteen Dream. I mean, this set is so awesome. They, this is definitely a contender for set of the year already in 2019. Already killing it by Mattel, and I cannot wait to grab Velveteen Dream. It's going to be freaking sweet to pick this figure up. Um, I might switch the torso with a Shelton Benjamin torso because I feel like it may fit him a bit better than the, you know, super jacked look, but we will have to see when we get the figure in hand and pose him around and see how he feels, but this figure looks great, great accessories, and uh, yeah, killing it with this set. 
The Flames continue, guys, with this Halloween Havoc Rey Mysterio Flashback Elite. I love the magenta slash purple pinkish color we're getting with this. The head scan looks amazing, and it looks exactly like the Bubble and Squeak custom that he made on Instagram. If you guys saw that custom figure, this literally looks identical to it. It's kind of insane how close it resembles it, but I can't wait to get this one. I love this. I would love to just get this and use it in the pick fed as this or use this attire for that and, you know, uh, stuff like that. I think it would be really cool to um, use a flashback ray as a current ray or maybe do like a fix up where you switch the arms with current arms and pink gloves or uh, something like that. I think that would be a really sweet fix up that I'm probably going to do with it. Maybe we can do that on action figure surgery, maybe get a couple of them. That's just early ideas that are in my head for this figure. But, I mean, they are they are just straight up killing it with this set, guys. I mean, five out of these six figures so far have been epic sauce. But now we're going to get into the final figure in the set, which is Shayna Baszler. And this one's pretty solid. You know, I like the head scan a lot. We are finally getting the NXT Women's Championship. I think that's the first time we're getting that. Pretty much just like the men's, except the NXT part is in silver or platinum, whatever you want to call that. I do like that they're going with the red and gold and black attire instead of, you know, a main black attire. I like colorful attires for figures better than just black. So this is really nice to see the red color coming through. And her head scan does look good, and I love that we're getting the NXT Championship. I'm not huge on women's figures because I don't get as much use out of them besides predictions videos and setup videos. So, I mean, I, I really don't, uh, you know, use them that much. Um, because, you know, they're not in the pick fed and stuff like that. So that's the reason that I'm more hyped for men's figures and, you know, guys that I, I collect heavily like Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton and so forth. But I'm very excited for this, guys. I cannot wait to get these figures in here, do some fix-ups, some customs, you know, put them in the pick fed. It's going to be good stuff. It, it, definitely some exciting things. If you would like to pre-order this set or any of the figures you like you that you see here, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com or wrestlingfigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% and buy anything over there, guys. We are freaking approaching. Vindication episode number 11 was just posted this morning, so definitely go check that out. MDT Royal Rumble is coming very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a special video uploading in the morning, so you don't want to miss that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.